hello so let us design a simple voltage regulator circuit so what i have on the screen is a spice circuit simulator that we have uh, used so i'm not going to talk about uh, lt spice or spice simulator and how to use it rather i would guide you to actually pick up the components required to design a voltage regulator circuit using simple thinner and the transistor for understanding how to use the spice circuit simulator and how to design variety of circuits simulate them we have this uh, online course that is available on the internet so in the description you can check the link and enroll accordingly if you wish so so right now we focus here about how to pick up the components and arrange them and simulate the circuit but before simulation uh, is the usual practice that you pick up the pen and paper and you do the circuit analysis write the equations try to understand the various voltages and the currents into the circuits and based on that you can actually understand what is the behavior how the circuit is behaving when you actually simulate that so let us start so what you do is that you have this new schematic window uh, so which is open right here so i have two uh, drafts drafts so i will need only one so i just close one so here is your component library just press F2 on the computer screen and we need so here that comes and uh, you see here so what we need first of all you need a voltage source which is unregulated power supply or unregulated voltage supply so you just type the voltage here if you type the current for example then the current will come if you type the voltage so voltage comes so let's say you click ok and place it on the screen with the mouse button and then press the escape button on your keyboard to get rid of it so you have this voltage source and then let's say you want a register so register is here you can see i pick up and then press ctrl r from your keyboard and place it on the screen and with the mouse button and then again press escape on the computer keyboard to get rid of this component next is we need another register so you, i click register again and i keep it right over here again i press escape uh, but as a script escape key on the computer keyboard so that's how it is done there is a ground symbol circuit ground and i place it somewhere here and i continue then go to library and look for the zener diode because the voltage regulator we need a zener diode so here it looks how it is uh, here is the cathode that's the anode so you have this click ok and just press ctrl r to rotate this diode so let's say i place it right here again i press escape key on the keyboard i go to library again i need a npn transistor so i type npn here i get the npn transistor bipolar npn transistor i click ok and again i get this transistor right here and having done that what i do i need wire to connect them so before that i let me arrange them properly for example i go to move and i click this component and i can see on the screen i can move so i place it on the extreme left then there is a resistor then there is a diode or transistor somewhere here maybe little below and this is the load resistor and then i press space bar on the computer keyboard so that all components are 
appearing right in their position and I can see all of them on the screen then I go to this yellow button up in the monitor I click the wire or press F3 key on the keyboard so I see now I want to connect all these components so I am using the mouse the first key on the mouse and I am trying to connect all of these components right here all of these components right here here it is now what I do is I am just okay I press escape again and maybe I move this uh, move this ground below little does and this space bar again on the keyboard and then I see that this is how uh, and this you see automatically I am able to make the connections throughout my board and here goes your ground so once that happens I can see I press the escape again to get the get rid of the wire I again want to move this transistor bit up and you see now this comes right here this question so I can use the scissor here is your cut and then I just cut this wire extra wire so <coughs> I want to move this register also but now you see this uh, register is moving but the wires already uh, at the two ends they are like that so instead I will use the drag option press F8 on your computer screen and then I select this R2 and you see now I can move it with the help of mouse and I do that again I click the wire and I make the remaining connection so here it is so I want to drag the zener a little bit up and after that I make the base like here after that I see now the circuit is complete and I press escape to get rid of this uh, wiring button and now I try to let me uh, drag it a bit this now look the dragging option is disturbing the circuit so I choose the move option and I do that like this and this is important that you arrange your circuit properly now there is this extra wire here so I will cut using the scissor and that's it now you actually can see that I have completed my circuit and it's pretty arranged well uh, with that said what I see I have this unregulated power supply voltage source V1 in series uh, to it I have a resistor R1 then there is a diode D it's a Zener diode the name of the model is D1 then I can right click it and check the diode property so you see it's a diode D and uh, there are no other options so I can select the pick new diode for example and I get this window open so I have selected actually the silicon diode 19 1N914 and that's the model of a of a diode so basically I want to use the Zener diode so Zener diode is here and the number is BZX something like that it's manufacture its own semiconductor it's a Zener diode breakdown voltage is 8.2 it means just refer to the previous videos that we have made on the working principle of Zener diode how it works its IV characteristics and all that so you see 8.2 volt means when the voltage across it reaches 8.2 volt it conducts the current from cathode to anode uh, in the reverse uh, bias mode it works so the input voltage coming to Zener must be greater than 8.2 if I select this diode then the 10 volt is the breakdown so let's say 10 volt we select the diode and then there is the model of this diode with the spice command is dot model this VZX 
eight four is the name of that part which is zener. You know, D is the it is diode. I S is reverse saturation current. R S is series resistance. C Z C J is a junction capacitance. And there is a B V breakdown is ten volt. Breakdown is ten volt. And then there is a I breakdown volt is one milli ampere. It means when the breakdown happens, the diode maximum current flowing through the diode is one milli ampere. I B B. Then V peak is uh, ten. Of course, that's the peak voltage. Manufacturer is on semi and type is zero. So let's select this diode. Click OK. And look the model for this diode comes here similarly right click the q1 transistor here you see is the you have like npn transistor is the transistor npn and there are no other parameters so you just click pick new transistor the window comes here and from that you can see what diodes uh, what transistors are available so we'll just explore them so if you choose 2N 2222 from NXP manufacturer the number one it has a VCO open circuit collector to emitter voltage is 30 volt at uh, 800 maximum 800 milliampere of collector current it's the model is given with this syntax dot model and all these parameters are given so let's choose this diode you can also choose there are many manufacturers so this is the diode now I said this Zener diode as pointed on the screen is 10 volt breakdown right so the input voltage must be greater than this volt and remember this is your unregulated power supply and the Zener diode is there to regulate this voltage across the output and we'll see how in combination of Zener this transistor and this series resistance the output voltage across the load R2 is maintained constant the respective of the changes in the load current flowing through R2 or there are changes in the input side that is the input voltage so we'll have to understand the working principle so what we'll do is that uh, first task is to so we have selected the diode we have selected the transistor we need to select the value of R1 and the load is also given usually when you design such circuit you need you you are given the load that is the specification let's say you have like 10 kilo ohm resistor that is the load so right click here you can select the resistance any resistance you can select uh, with the power rating tolerance and uh, the value of it so let's skip for that we just say that we have a 10k resistance it has a tolerance about whatever or power rating or whatever so we don't choose a specific uh, manufacturing uh, we just say that okay load is 10k press the space key on the keyboard so that your circuit fits on the screen then right click the voltage supply v1 which is your unregulated voltage supply so it has to be a dc value and let's say it is 25 volt series resistance of course all voltage supplies are practical voltage supplies so there are series resistance associated with that but we'll just say that we can neglect that because usually it's pretty small uh, so we'll not input the value or write zero so if you don't write anything it just assumes that you have a DC value of 25 volt uh, ideally and click OK and you see now 25 volt now before running the simulation you need to know what are the voltages and the currents and all those things so let us try to understand how this circuit will work and that's the part two
which will follow the part one which we just talk right now okay so this is your part one in the next part we'll see how to analyze this circuit and in the same part we'll then design the circuit and simulate its behavior and match our simulation results with the theory whether they match okay so there'll be a part one and part two or maybe even part three so till that um, wish you happy learning hope you like this video if you did so share it with others uh, like the video comment make your comments and subscribe to the channel wish you happy learning